So, here we are. Last day of third grade. June 3rd, 2020. It's been a long year. And a very odd year. One that you guys and me will never, ever forget. I never would have expected to end our year the way it has ended. I would have never dreamt or ever thought that it would turn, it would come to this. Um, I want to let you guys, I, I think of you guys every single day and how much I miss being in the classroom and having fun and falling on the floor and taking my ruler down off that wire and smacking it, just, you know, trying to have fun and, uh, I miss you guys and I will miss you guys. Um, you guys really are, um, one of my, one of the best classes. I mean, you guys have come a long ways, everybody, um, I just appreciate you guys, all of you. Um, this will be the first year, literally, it, since I've ever been, I've been in elementary school. I usually always, at the very end of the day, on the last day of school. You can ask anybody who's been in my class. The last day, right before the bell's going to ring, I gather everybody up that's still there, that usually everybody's still there. And we do the biggest group hug as a class. And I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss doing my big group hug. And everybody just all one big group hug. Um, which is kind of funny because we couldn't do that right now anyways. <sighs> couldn't even do it. And I mean, I just think of all the things, you know, and normally I'd have you guys helping me take all the posters down and tearing, taking down the, you know, all, everything off the walls. And, um, and usually I do a raffle and give away the posters and, you know, our trait posters and um, all that stuff. And, you know, the last couple of days, I've actually been taking it down, and it's been sad. It's been really sad doing it by myself. Um, and thinking about, like, oh, my gosh, I'd be giving these away right now. And, and usually kids love these, and usually I'm taking pictures of them with my iPad and, and doing crazy stuff and having fun. Um but I have to be positive and cherish the time we did have together as a class, even though it was from, you know, ended in March, a couple months early, we still got to be together for the majority of the, of, of the year. Everybody, for the majority of the year, we were, we were together as a community. Um, you know, we had our jar with our rocks and everybody's, you know, put a rock in. Um, I should have brought it right now, but it's, it's, it's downstairs. I have a downstairs one where I do the conference, but you know, you guys are just fun, fun group, fun group of kids, you know, whether it's just, you know, me messing up on people's names, even all the way up and through March, confusing Jocelyn and Sophia and Sophia and Jocelyn. Ay, ay, ay. The one thing I never did get confused was. Leslie and Yamalet. I never did get them confused because Yamalet's in my class. Leslie's in there. They could never trick us. But maybe they could. Maybe they did. Maybe they did trick us and we just don't even know about it. Hmm. I wonder. I just think of, you know, Kai. You know, Kai, sit down. Kai, stop touching that. I miss that. I miss telling people to do things and you know, Kai, big, huge big teddy bear. Ugh. Yeah. It was a good year, guys. And that's what we need to remember. We gotta remember how, how good of a year it was. Because it was. It was a really fun and good year. Very fun. Very fun. It was a... You know, think about our Christmas, our little Christmas, and uh, not Christmas, our, our winter, or our four winter um, break. You know, the 
I did the prizes and the gifts and the, you know, and you guys had, we had fun. You know, we, have a, we have a lot of good memories and, you know, I think about, I even, it's the funniest things I miss even like doing the calendar. I was in there today, I was like, look at the calendar and had it set up for March 1st. I mean, I mean, April 1st when we came, when we're going to come back from spring break and it's still there like at April 1st and here it is at, you know, June 3rd, June 2nd, June 3rd. It's crazy. It's just crazy what we've been through. And that we're all, that we know of, healthy and safe. And that we've had to do online learning. I would have never guessed in a million years that I would be trying to do online learning. And, I'm, and I was learning just like you guys were learning. I was like, oh, making sure you guys are doing it and trying to help people with their computers and I wish I could go and help them and go to your house and fix it and but you can't it's all trying to like give directions over the phone which is annoying but it is what it is it is what it is you know we talked at the very beginning of the year you know like I said I think I was saying this yesterday you know we on the board, we talk about all that, all those words we put up on the board. Um, and we think about, you know, like, you know, honesty and integrity and all the different words we t we've talked about, you know, and all ideas are welcome here. The poster outside the door and working on our scholar posters, you know, and making our t-shirts, those, not t-shirts, but those, those, uh, you know, like the, the cutout t-shirts that you know, we hung up on the wall. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy how fast in a way this year went, even considering we haven't seen each other for a while. So, just not sure, just gonna, we're gonna have a great summer. I know you guys are gonna have a great summer. This is going to start getting warmer outside. I have more days. And hopefully that more and more and more stuff's getting find out about the coronavirus. And we'll be able to get closer contact with people or, you know, or something. I don't know. Like I said, I, we never imagined we'd be where we are. But we got to, you know, let's you know, be positive and, you know, think the best. You know, if you're... You know, it's that it's kind of like that growth mindset. You know, growth mindset. You know, if you think it's gonna be bad, it's all a self fulfilling prophecy. It means it's gonna happen. You say this is gonna be very bad, always bad. But then it's gonna be bad. If you kiss her, you can't do a math problem. You cry, you're not gonna do the math problem because you can't do it. It's that growth mindset. You know, instead of fixed mindset. You know, or that you know all those different traits. We talk about traits all year long on Tuesdays. Tuesday, Tuesday traits. Then our growth mindsets and Thursdays. Think about Thursdays. Thankful Thursdays. Oh my gosh. We have so much to be thankful for. We have so much to be thankful for. Right? You know, think about, you know, how we always talk about, you know, on Thankful Thursday when we all go around the circle and to say something we're thankful for. You guys were great. I, I, I can't believe, I don't know how many times, very rarely did we ever have to stop and really wait for anybody. You guys did really good when we came on. You guys always had like that. You guys knew exactly what you wanted to say. And um, and you guys were serious. I appreciate that about this class. You guys you guys were serious about it. It was never, you know, in the past, as I have, kids would say, oh, I'm thankful for Minecraft. I'm thankful for GTA. I'm thankful for all this, you know, random stuff that's, you know, you can be thankful for that. I, I accept that. But every Thursday you guys would talk about I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for school. I'm thankful for having a roof over my head. I'm thankful that I have a car. I'm thankful. All that stuff. You guys did a great job all year long. Every week, you guys took that serious. And then especially when we would end the whole circle and say, be thankful. Because someone, somewhere, has less than you. Whether it's in our classroom, whether it's in our third grade, whether it's in our school, whether it's in our 
district, our school district, our community, our city, our state, right? Our country, the world. Someone somewhere has less than you. So it's focusing on those positive, being positive. Focus on what you do have. Be thankful for what you have. Could be th being thankful for your health and not being sick. You know, be thankful. So, I mean, you know that. And then fun Fridays, you know, fun Fridays. You guys, you guys, you know, really enjoyed fun Fridays. Well, everybody usually enjoys fun Fridays, but, you know, you guys would always do a good job to knowing that if you really worked hard during the week, sometimes they let you guys have a little bit longer fun Fridays. Some of those times, fun Fridays were really short because we had to make up stuff. We had to get stuff. We had other things we had to do. But, you know, having that fun Friday and playing games and sometimes just for a while, you guys would get on YouTube. Don't tell anybody. You know, but just listen to music and having a community, you know, with your friends and playing with each other and hanging out with each other and just, you know, having a good time. Um... I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss this group. Um, I'm going to sign off for now. I think it's about um, almost 11 and a half minutes. That's a good, you know, I, I have so much. I really could st still keep on going. And maybe I will. I don't know. Um, I can't, I really <laughs> can't tell you guys. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to miss not finishing this year. The way I wanted to finish the year. The way we wanted to finish this year. The way we could have finished the year. But we gotta be positive. I'm just kind of repeating myself. I feel like I'm just going in circles. I'm just like, we got to remember the good times. The times we did have. And we can only hope, and I really, really hope, that we're bra we're, we're, bra we're back in school in the fall. Hoping they can figure everything out. It's just hoping. It's having that. It's kind of like you know being positive and having that growth mindset. Or if they don't, they'll figure some way that we can still see each other, even if it's for a shorter time. Even if it's just, you know, groups of ten or whatever they come up with. I have no clue. I just want to be able to see you guys again. See everybody again. Man, I can't believe I'm going to have a whole new class. That's cray-cray. That's cray-cray. <sighs> but we're going to be good. We're going to be good. Because we'll always remember each other. We'll always remember third. You guys will always remember third grade. And of all the groups, I will always remember this group of third graders. Not only because you guys are great kids... Because of the corona. The corona and the COVID. So you guys can call this the COVID third grade. Oh yeah, back in 2020 I had the COVID third grade. I had the corona third grade. Or some, maybe I think of some other crazy thing to say. I don't even know. The corona grade. You can just call it the corona grade. Well, then everybody's in the corona grade. I don't know. Maybe the... Corona, I don't know, the third grade Corona, the Corona third grade, COVID-19, I guess I'd be close to COVID-19, oh, it was the year of the COVID, that's what you guys were, hey, yeah, I remember the year of the COVID, I was in third grade, in Mr. Dickey's class, the year of the COVID, <sighs> Okay, I'm going to sign off for now. Sad, but happy. I'm happy that we're all going to be able to move on also. You guys are going to move on to be fourth graders. Hopefully take everything you've learned. And I, I really, truly cannot tell you guys to keep up the work over the summer. If there's any year, any year, that you could lose knowledge over a summer this is it 
because nothing can replace that the the school atmosphere the school classroom so keep it up keep on reading this summer keep on doing math um Hopefully the, the websites will be open, Moby Max, Epic, all of them will be available for as long as possible. Okay. Take advantage. Take advantage. Get be self-motivated and say, I need to do this. Because we don't want you to be farther behind the fourth grade. Okay. We all care about you guys. We all care about that. As a school, we all everybody at Marcus Scott, we care about you guys. We don't want you guys to fall behind. We want to really help you guys so <sighs> saying goodbye for now I miss you guys Mr. Dickie's class 2019 2020 peace out